Oh yes, welcome to my channel. I can't, I'll never get tired of using my little remote. You can tell I've had a new toy, can't you? Um, normally I gotta press the button, see? Um, yeah, welcome back to uh, Top 3 Tuesday. Um, yeah, uh, we are gonna talk about my top three rage quits. We've all done it, guys. There's different levels of rage quitting. There's um, a gentle rage quit. There's a, okay, I'm going to turn that off and never play it again rage quit. Or there's that. Oh, fuck, I've got a, I'd say a 10 or 9.5 on the Richter scale. I'd say a 10 on the rage quit Richter scale would be going out and on a murder rampage or something because of a video game. But you do hear uh, stories, don't you? Like um, a guy, I think it was in the UK, drove, he's playing Call of Duty or something years ago, found out where the guy that kept killing him lived, the troll or whatever, and uh, beat him up or, or worse. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I'm not that much of a rage quitter. <coughs> um... Yeah, so uh, I got my top three, three, yeah, quite, where things were damaged, let's say. There's three times in my life where things were damaged. Actually, as I say that, I remember, I think actually, honourable mention then, when I was a teen or pre-teen, where I was playing, I think it was Batman on the Game Boy, and I punched the Game Boy really hard and broke it. Um, my parents never knew. I, I dropped my Game Boy and the screen smashed and my knuckles are hurting. <laughs> uh, yeah, I forgot about that one. That's an honourable mention as well where something was damaged. Um, yeah, I can't think of any other ones other uh, than ones I got here. So, uh, I like to do honourable mentions. I got one, two, three, four. I got five honourable mentions other than that uh, broken Game Boy. Okay, so the first time... This is a low, this is like a, a two on the Rage Quit to Richter scale, okay? Sonic the Hedgehog on the Master System. I do talk, um, it was a, I, I've talked about this on my channel before, where uh, if you've played this game, it's quite a hard game, okay? I remember it being hard. I don't think I've ever finished it. I've watched my mate finish it, but um, it this took months, right? It took me about two weeks to get past stage two so it's is it green hills or it's mad that we can still remember these things right so i think it was took me months then you get to the final boss i was all right to the final boss then it was bridge but we never got past bridge then we used to now and again get the jungle and then we just couldn't get past the jungle boss so basically the jungle boss is um normally to get there um, it took us months to get there with without with more than one life, you know. So we used to get there with one life, and you got to climb up. You go to um, like a vine. You're in this vine. It's like a like a like a bucket, I suppose, or a bowl. And uh, Doctor Robotnik's flying above you, and he's dropping these bombs. And they you got to like hit him whilst dodging these bombs because they're rolling up and down. They're like balls or something. And they explode. So it's, it's really, you got to really um, know what the fuck you're doing. you got to eyes on the, the back of your head kind of thing. And it was funny. It wasn't funny. It was like, oh, no. The first time, you, you do drop Dr. Robotnik. He wasn't a hard thing, right? But it was jumping, a simple thing. Like jumping, you had to build up speed to jump from the vine onto the platform. So you've done the hard bit, or so you think. And the amount of times you just just... You couldn't jump, or you wouldn't hit it, or it wouldn't register, or something like that. And you just die, and that's it. Game over. Um, so, yeah, that was like, ah, oh, fuck this game. Oh, maybe when I was eight or something, it was, oh, no, god damn this game, kind of thing. I didn't know what swear words were back then. I was quite a sheltered uh, little kid I was. So, yeah, that was the first thing, I think, first time I, the rage got to me, because I used to care so much about these games, you know. Another game I definitely used to rage quit this. Random game, Enclave. Now, again, I have talked about this on the channel before. 
this I'm never going to sell this. This was a game I kept from back in the day. It's uh, I think they were game station stickers. So two for twenty five, and then it went down to uh, fourteen pound ninety seven or two for twenty five. You know. So uh, what is I yeah I'd say use the word special about this game. When I I used to live um, I've lived everywhere. First, trust me. I used to live in Paris at one point and. To go to Paris, I had to sell my Xbox, so I didn't own an Xbox, and I couldn't speak French. I certainly couldn't read French, okay? I could understand bits and bobs, but I couldn't nowhere near read fucking French, okay? But I bought uh, an Xbox magazine, because I was missing my Xbox so much. I bought the magazine just to look at the pictures, and it did, it did a score, like a percent, so... In a way, I could the main information uh, I could get from this French magazine, but... It kind of made a list in my head. Like, there was a game I never actually got. It was the Tour de France game. It looked really good. But I think that was on the cover. But I was living in France. You know, Paris is the, now one of their national sports, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I this is one of the games I wanted to get as soon as I got came back to the UK to live, you know. So, I picked it up. And it's not the best game. Um, I think it was quite a few unique things, things I did enjoy with it. But there's this bit where... Oh, I can remember it. It's, it's pissing me off now. I never know because I never got past this thing where you, you got to get these switches. You've got to hit these switches. Or you hit the switch and there's one like up on the ceiling. So you figure out pretty quickly. Or what you've got to do is uh, open this door, turn a tap or something. So the water rises up and you've got to hit the switch and then swim back down or something. And hit, turn the valve the other way to get the water to go back down. But... You can, obviously, you can't breathe in the water, the, the the hero of the game. And the switch you had to turn, I'm literally there mashing every single button. And like my timer's going down. And one time I got so good, I thought, all right, keep your calm, practice it. And okay, I died. Now we'll do it next time. Died, died. I got there, I had seven seconds, and I'm on this switch hitting every single button, every combination I could fucking think of. And it would not work. So I was like, fuck this game. I don't think I've played it since. You know, I might have to go back to it. I will go back to it. Um, yeah, but it must be a special game because uh, I've still got it from back in the day. Another Xbox game. Great game, but some of the missions can suck my balls, right? Uh, Fable. The, you know, the protect, like rescue missions. I remember I had to go down this cave and it's like those troll pe- things and I had to get this kid out to the cave, the bottom. But I had to go up this long corridor that leads into the bottom of this cave. And the... Uh, oh, I'll tell you what we'll do as well. No, we'll do it for the top three. No, I'll do it now. I'll go red. Because this made me rage the fuck quit, right? Um, but the guy you're trying to protect, he's like a little kid. But he keeps running into danger. You're like, fuck it. Now, stay behind me. You could do that weight thing. But it only worked half the fucking time. So, oh my God, but you do, it did, it, I didn't really rage quit with that, okay, because I, because it's such a good game, I stuck with it, you know, but those missions, if there's any more of those missions, uh, yeah, I would never have seen the end of that game. Uh, I nearly rage quit, this is the one, uh, the game that inspired me to do, well, two this week, actually, I've nearly, ra- when I did rage quit, I nearly rage quit, um, Neo Wave, or King of Fighters Neo Wave, okay, if I wasn't filming it, you can probably tell when the video comes out. I don't know what episode. It's late 70s. It'll probably be a week or so till this one uh, goes up, okay? But fuck, it was so cheap. It was so frustrating. Whip. I went as Whip. I, I went to team play. Her Whip is fucking useless. Uh, my attacks are going through people. And it was like, this is bullshit. This game is bullshit. I love every single King of Fighters game. I love the look of this. They always get me on the graphics, okay? I love the fact they got a red light uh, in my studio. Um, this is, as of right now, this is by far my least favourite. It's cheap. It's cheap and nasty, though. Like, the King of Fighters 94, 95 are hard. Cheap and hard. But this is just cheap and not even fun. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, fuck. Oh, I, I nearly... I wonder my finger was going for that stop record... And I was thinking, right, I'll just say, yeah, I can't be asked to play it anymore. I think it, you could probably tell, it asked me, did I want to continue? And I was like, fuck no, I want to continue. And the other game, I don't know, I wouldn't say rage quit. 
Yeah, I, I did rage quit then. Um, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It's the third time I tried to play it. I went as a woman. The this just to mix it up again. Um, but that guy you fight, you know, the first cutscene where the guy kills your father. Um, cheap fucking kill. Do you know what I mean? You want to kill him. For some reason, when I hour or so later, when I was fighting him, my blade was working, but my axe wasn't working. And every time I used my axe attack, she was just kneeing him in the chest, doing hardly any damage. I just couldn't be bothered. I was like, do you know what? Fuck this game. It's taken me ages to kill him. He's not hard, but it was just the mechanics are broken. I checked. It definitely added in. So I tried equipping another weapon now nah, i wasn't letting me do fuck all i was like i cannot be bothered with this like so i took it out i'm probably going to trade it in i did check it gave me 12 quid in cex trading so that's game's gonna go there's no point i got no desire ever to play it again it is a shame because i do like the story the way they built it up i have made it to england in previous playthroughs and it looks amazing but um i'll just play the other assassin's creed games you know Apart from one of them, which is on my list as well. Um, yeah, so, yeah, fuck that game, you know. Uh, but I am disappointed because it looks a beautiful world. But anyway, hey-ho. Um, I can't play them all, you know. So, my number... So, we're down to the top three rage quits, right? Now, other than that Game Boy, I sure it was Batman on the Game Boy, okay? Um... This game, it was Ghost Recon Wildlands. It was a weird one because, again, I spoke briefly about this on the channel. This is when I was living in London, in Kensington. And my, I was playing it. I was drunk. It was probably late morning. I was near over half a bottle of Malibu. I used to just get up and drink right on my days off or whatever and play video games. So I had the headphones on. I was playing Ghost Recon Wildlands. Um... But is it Breakpoint? That's an amazing game. But um, Wildlands did a lot of things wrong where Breakpoint fixed them. But um, Wildlands, I think, was aimed at... It's a squad-based. They're all squad-based. But I was doing a single player. And most things, it wasn't an issue. It was harder. But there were some things where my the AI of my teammates was fucking broken. Uh, they'd run off into bullets and it's like, fuck, I got a guy there I need to help. I got a guy over there and he was just, fuck. Again, the alcohol didn't help. And I just had my controller, my PS4 controller. I didn't throw it that hard. I just threw it out into my garden. It hit the wall. And I just, as soon as, it was like done as it was leaving my hand. And I hit the corner trigger. I've still got that controller around here somewhere. Um, it might, it needs a new trigger basically and whatever else. But it was quite surprising Either surprising my strength or how easy they broke, but they do feel pretty solid, you know. Um, yeah, so the next day I bought, I went straight away. I was too drunk to go anywhere then. That day, pissed off. I went and bought the camouflage one. So uh, that's a, I loved that controller. Um, okay, my second Rage Quit is one of my favourite games of all time. Is Grand Theft Auto V. I must have bought traded or bought rage damaged this game five times i think it's the fifth or maybe the fourth time i bought this game i'm not in a hurry to get the ps5 version this fight this is a masterpiece this is this is uh the the best version as far as i'm concerned um but yeah i was living in again i can tell i've lived where i've lived all over the place i was living in newcastle this time i think i was on the I said 11th floor. I don't think it was quite that high up. But I was in a block of flats. Beautiful flat. And a nice big balcony. And I was playing GTA. And it was like the third, maybe fourth time I'd gone through the main campaign. But I'd never played a GTA before. I played them, sorry. I've never played story mode on them. I should just mess around on them. I had no idea that to save your progress, you could bring up your mobile phone and go save. I honestly, up until after that point, so this would have been 2015, 2016, something like that, I thought the only way to save your progress is to go back to your home and sleep in your bed. Because that's a way to save, isn't it? I had no idea about the phone thing. So I told some boys, oh yeah, fuck, game, fuck that game. You can't save whenever you want. They go, yes, you can. You can just 
bring your phone up. I was like, oh, I had no idea. Um, it probably is in the tutorial, but again, in my defence, that was heavily into my drinking days, the mid um, 2010s to late 2019s, 2020s. I was a, a big drinker, you know, so I couldn't remember it or whatever. I didn't. I had no idea. So I wanted to go out. It's my day off, and I thought, right, I'll go back to say his trail. I'll go back to his caravan, and I'll save. And then it, going back to the caravan, his house, it uh, activated another story mission. So it was a cutscene. For fuck's sake! And it wouldn't let me go back in there. Then I thought, right, okay, no worries. I'll go as Franklin. And it was the same thing. I went back to his. He was living with his aunt. He didn't have his own house yet, and that activated a big fucking cutscene. I thought, this is bullshit. I thought, right, I'll go as Michael. But this is taking 20 minutes later. I wanted to be out of the house, you know. I wasn't meeting anyone, thank God, like. Uh, and then the same thing happened with Michael. I thought, fuck this game. I ejected the disc, right. I opened the my slide door, right, onto the balcony. And I, with all my strength, I fucking threw Again, I had that dunt. I threw it, right. And it must have been a gust of wind. It went didn't even dip it went flying as far as i could see then winds got hold of it and it went up like that it was like holy shit i went as far as i like i watched the disc disappear into the over into the horizon it probably still flying around you know maybe it's doing laps of the fucking earth you know that's how hard i threw it um but again uh i was talking to someone in another job and i think a girl told me she goes yeah you can do it on your phone i was like what are you on about? And she told me, yeah, they can definitely do it. And she went home and checked. She goes, yeah, that's how I save. I've always saved it that way. I was like, ah, oh, like a fucking dumbass. So that was a game changer, that was. Uh, so, yeah, I damaged the disc with that one. But by throwing it. But by far the most I've ever rage quit, right, uh, was playing Assassin's Creed 2. Oh, my God, right? Um... This tipped me over the edge, right? Lucky I'm not an incredible Hulk or something like that, because I was... I... The thing is, you to, to rage quit, if you think about it, right? If you don't really give a fuck about the game, you don't care if it's cheap, you don't care about the story, you go, oh, whatever, I'll just stop playing. But when the game's really good, it's got so much going for it, or you've invested a load of time into the games, you know? So, like... Uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands, I really enjoyed that game. GTA V is one of my favourite games of all time. Uh, it's in my top three non-fighting games of all time, you know. It's a masterpiece. So I cared about these games. So again, with Assassin's Creed 2, uh, I had it when it first came out. Well, I was living in Cheltenham this time. <laughs> Fuck, I've, had, I've lived some places, haven't I? So yeah, I was living in Cheltenham and um, I was an assistant manager in Curry's. And my favourite thing with Cheltenham was the people I worked with. There's a lot of people my age uh, working there, loads, you know. And we were all gamers, uh, like Curry's, PC World, all nerds, and we so um, we'd all be buying the latest games, all talking about them. I remember a guy saying, "Yeah, I got the gun last night in Assassin's Creed." I was like, "There's no gun in Assassin's Creed 2." I thought he's winding me up. Went home, got the gun, didn't I? He was like, "Oh fuck, fair play." Uh, yeah, so much going for it in Assassin's Creed. And I wasn't even doing a main mission. But some of the controls, would like some of the buttons would do would have more than one function, depending on what you're doing. Uh, so what had happened, I think it was a side mission, and it was a time limit. And it wasn't any hard. I could see I had to get from this point, collect all these shards or something to get to the other point. So I, I was on my way, easy peasy, just climb up this fucking um, wall. And he just turned round. He going up the wall. He would turn round and do that fucking dive thing. I was like, "What the fuck?" That was bad enough. And then I was like running away. I I assassinated someone. It was quite hard to do. I thought, I'll just run up. I know. I wait on the ledge. I'll assassinate him. I waited ages, right? So I assassinated one of the story characters. I had to assassinate. Then all I had to do was run away from these guys. So I'm sprinting away. All I got to do is jump over that wall. Get up over the wall. Next thing, he turns around and jumps on the guy. They're chucking stones or firing arrows at me. No worries, nothing to worry. I nearly over the wall. Press square or something to just jump that last bit. And he turns around and jumps back down. Oh, my God, that was it. I was like, fuck this game. 
I nearly picked, I think it was on the Xbox, or my, I can't remember, I think, I know I had Xbox 360 and PS3 back then. I ejected, I think it was on the PS3, ejected it, right? I wasn't, I was living in a house this time, so I had nowhere to throw it. I snapped, oh my God, I, it's, oh, I was, I'm not proud of this moment. I snapped the game in bits, I was just like, ah, Ah, I just snapped it. I said, fuck. And my, my head was like, nobody should ever play this game. It's such a cheap, broken ass fucking game. Oh my God, I felt terrible. Then the next day, then I had to go to work. And I was like, oh, did you play Assassin's Creed last night? I was like, no, nah, I don't. And they thought, oh, you didn't play it. Busy with you. And then the next day, did you play Assassin's Creed? And I was like, no, no, I saw you finished it, have you? I said, like, no, nah. it took me about a week to fucking talk about it. It was like, it hurt me, you know? It. Uh, but, um, yeah, that was um, by far the most I've ever rage quit. But um, let's turn this back on to normal light. Uh, yeah, looking back, I laugh at it now. Uh, like, I'd say the games I rage quit this week, they, they're not a rage quit compared to, I hopefully, ne- a game won't ever have that hold on me, you know. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was an emotional time, let's say. Again, I don't drink anymore. Maybe I'm calmer. You know, I've had help with my mental health. Maybe it's all, all helping me. You know, control my uh, emotions. Uh, hopefully, it is anyway. Uh, yeah. So that was my top three rage quit moments. Uh, let me know in the comments. Does anyone else rage quit? It's quite funny. I know a lot of people in the fighting game community. The rage quit is ah, oh, um, and it is annoying, isn't it? So you're playing someone, and you're gonna beat them, and they just rage quit, so you don't get the fucking win. It's like, oh, you fucking knob. And it is funny, people that deny they rage quit. So I don't rage quit. And you've got, there's like compilations, like DSP, uh, for example. I don't like mentioning that guy because he's such a fucking knob. But uh, people like DSP rage quit all the time. But say, oh, I don't rage quit. Or try to say, oh, it's just a character. Bullshit, Mr. DSP. Uh, anyway, I do want to talk about him. Thank, yeah, let me know in the comments uh, what games made you rage quit or... What do you think a rage quit does? You know, let me know. Um, yeah, thank you. Oh, I got a remote. Now. I nearly went. Love you. Bye. I don't have to do that anymore. I uh, got my remote. Thank you very much for watching. Please hadouken that subscribe button. As always, love you. Bye.